Hey, what's up? So we're going to talk about even and odd numbers. And we're going to give a definition for each. An even number is a number that fits this form. 2 times n. So that's an even number. An odd number is a number that fits this form. 2 times n plus 1. And you might ask, well, what is n? Well, n whoops, can be any whole number. So 0, 1, 2, 3. In fact, even negative 1 would have worked as well. So we can put plus or minus 1, plus or minus 2, plus or minus 3. So any whole number. So if we have an even number, um, what's an example? Well, an example would be 0, and then the next one would be 2 times 1, which is just 2. Uh, the next one could be 2 times 2, which is just 4. And the next one would be 2 times 3, um, which is just 6, and so on and so on and so on. Um, what about an odd number, though? Well, an odd number is 2 times 0 plus 1, 2 times 1 plus 1, 2 times 2 plus 1. What are these numbers? Well, 2 times 0 is 0, plus 1 is 1. 2 times 1 is 2, plus 1 is 3. 2 times 2 plus 1 is 5. And so on and so on. Okay. Um, now, if we want to know what you get when you add an even number to an even number, what you can do is this. You can say, it's got to be in the form of 2n plus 2, and then I'm not going to put an n because it would mean it's exactly the same as the other number over there that's already labeled n. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put an m instead. And it's going to be allowed to be the same sort of numbers. 0, negative 1, positive 1, and so on. Okay, so for example, maybe n was equal to 0. Um, well, actually, you know, that's kind of too simple. Maybe n was equal to 1, and m is equal to 3. Well, if that was the case, then you would have 2 times 1 plus 2 times 3. And this would be 2, the other one would be 6, and your answer is 8, which we know is an even number. But let's see how we would prove it in general, as opposed to just testing values. Well, if you want to prove it in general, then you want to prove that it fits this form, 2 times some sort of whole number. Well, let's take a look at this. We can factor out the 2 there. And if we do that, then we have 2 times n plus m. Now, the question is, is this an even number? And I claim it is. And the reason why it's an even number is because it's fitting the form of 2 times n, where n is some sort of whole number. Well, n is being replaced by n plus m, but if you take a whole number and you add a different whole number, you still have a whole number. So is this fitting the form of an even number? Yeah, it is, because it's 2 times a whole number. So even plus even always gives you even. Well, let's take a look at what happens if you do an even plus an odd. If you do an even plus an odd, that means you have something in the form of 2n plus 2m plus 1, where the 2m plus 1 is the odd number. Well, if you try adding this up, you're going to get 2 times n plus m, just like before, but then you have a plus 1. Well, we just proved that this over here is an even number. 
it's in the form of 2 times n, but then we're adding 1, which is an odd number. So an even number plus 1 is equal to an odd number. So when you take an even and you add an odd, you get an odd. Okay, so there's still just one last one that we haven't done yet, and that's what happens when you do odd plus odd. Well, that means you have something in the form of 2n plus 1, that's our first odd number, plus 2m plus 1, that's our second odd number. So if you add this up, let's try to see if we can get this in the form of either an even or an odd. Well, let's just rearrange this a little bit as 2 times n plus m, that's what we've been doing before, and then we have the plus 1 plus 1. But 1 plus 1, that is 2 by definition. But then if we have 2 times n plus m plus 2, what we can do here is we can actually factor out a 2. So we can now write this as 2 times n plus m plus 1 because now if we were to distribute this bottom line over here we would get to the line right above it. So we factored out 2 from this line right above the bottom line. But now look at what form this is fitting. This is fitting the form of 2 times a whole number. So an odd plus an odd, well, it came out to an even.